Nearly 50 years ago, American scientists sent a radio message right into the stars, which, when decoded, looked like this, saying there's life on Earth, that's the human figure, and describing and code our solar system in case aliens wanted to contact us. Well, now the message has been sent again, this time by NASA, and with much more information, including more precise directions on how to find us. But this has caused controversy with a senior research fellow at Oxford University warning that broadcasting where the Earth was could provoke an alien invasion, which is also what famed astrophysicist Stephen Hawking warned about too, five years ago, shortly before he died. Joining me is Dr. Brad Tucker, an astrophysicist and cosmologist from the College of Science at the Australian National University. Brad Tucker, thanks for your time. What cool titles you have, I've got to say, by the way. First of all, <laughs> is there a point to sending out a message to the stars that we exist? I mean, what chance is there that the aliens do exist if they, uh, and, and that they'd be able to decode it? Look, you're right. The chances are slim at best, let's say. Um, <laughs> And it's almost more ceremonial than anything, because you're right. So firstly, you have to have an alien race existing. Then they have to have the technology to be able to listen to the frequency, then decode it, and then send the message back. Now, the biggest problem that we actually have in anything like this is the actual time it takes to get there. So we have the speed of light, the time it takes these messages to travel, and everything travels at the speed of light. Even our conversation being broadcasted right now is actually being broadcasted out into space. Now, it just takes so long for these messages to get there that even by the time something, if it exists, may hear it, we pretty much are long gone, at least you, know, you and I and everyone else listening here. So anything would happen to be in the very distant future. So it's more a sign, almost like an academic point, that if there's another civilization wondering, are they alone, at least they would know, hey, there is another civilization out there, but they're probably long gone. But what, let's go to the first uh, possibility. How, what chance do you think there is that there is yeah. life out there? So, yeah, so, well, we'll break it into two parts real quick. Firstly, any life, and any life is, is bacteria, plants, dogs. Most scientists would probably agree that it's almost a certainty. Uh, you know, it's not 100% because we haven't found it, but given how many planets there are, you know, so we know there's about 300 billion stars in our own galaxy, and most of those stars, if not all, have at least one to two planets. So we think there could be two to five trillion planets just in our own galaxy. There's two trillion galaxies with billions of stars. There's a lot of stuff out there. So probably something, I would say most definitely, and I think we will find five, 10 years, something. And again, probably bacteria, something boring on Mars. Now, intelligent life, that's where it gets tricky. I think it's likely but one of the problems that we have is, you know, humans, we haven't been around forever. There was dinosaurs, there was other things on this planet. So we're just as likely to look or communicate with a planet that has space dinosaurs, as cool of an idea that is, <laughs> just as we are as finding space humans. So you have to be at the right place at the right time. It's a lot like uh, real estate, location, location, and time in order for this all to happen. So the chances are small, but given how many th places there are, I think likely it's just, will it happen in our lifetime? My goodness, okay. So the possibility is that we get to reach a dinosaur somewhere, but that dinosaur has to be able to operate a laptop <laughs> or some sort of radio. <laughs> That's so, right. what, what are the odds? Oh, look, look, look that was and, fantastic. And look, if Brent we find Tucker, a dinosaur so that can control a laptop, we're in trouble, let's just say that. So we don't want to mess with those either. <laughs> Uh, yeah, maybe we shouldn't have sent this message. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> Appreciate it.